Now let's talk about paid traffic, the what and the why. Because before we really dig in and I show you exactly how to do this stuff, you need to understand what this stuff is and why it's important. So just to make sure we're on the same page, we're going to learn how to use paid traffic to acquire more leads, sales, and ultimately customers for a business. Business owners really, when it comes down to it, mainly care about revenue and costs. They have to care about the health of their business. So what we're going to talk about, paid traffic and customer acquisition, is incredibly important to the health of a business. If you aren't bringing in new customers, if you're not bringing in new leads that can possibly become new customers, your business is going to dry up. Your business will become stale and it might even die. So this is an incredibly important function of a business and something that we should definitely all spend a lot of time learning how to do. And that's why you're here. Again, you might be here because this is your business. So you want to acquire customers for your business. Awesome. You might be here because you want to acquire customers for your boss's business. You, the person you work for, that's awesome. You might be here to learn how to do this for your clients. That's awesome too. Just keep in mind the same principles apply across the board and we're really here to learn how to use paid traffic to acquire customers at break even or better. That's something we talk a lot about at Digital Marketer. How do we acquire customers at break even or better? So what does that mean? I mean that we spend a dollar on traffic, so we might spend a dollar on a Facebook ad, and we expect to make a dollar back. That means that we aren't going in the hole per se, you know, a ton of money in order to run paid traffic. So before you start to worry, oh my gosh, we're spending money on traffic, that's scary. I agree that it is, uh, but I'm going to teach you how to do this at break even or better. So the function of this system is to make sure you're bringing new customers into your business without hemorrhaging cash. Because he or she who is able and willing to spend the most to acquire a customer wins. And I don't mean that you're going to be wasting money, right? I don't mean that, you know, company A spent $50,000 on Facebook and company B spent $100,000 on Facebook. Therefore, um, you know, company B will win. What I mean is that if company A has a, a way, a system set up to acquire these customers without hemorrhaging cash while staying at break even, then that business will win. So what's really important to keep in mind here and something that we'll talk about in the last video of this lesson is that there is something called a marketing funnel. And this is a very simple visual. You've probably heard about a marketing funnel. If not, don't jump out of the video right now. We'll talk a little bit about it, um, but you must be able to offer something um, that people will give you money for, and you need to do so in a way that's comfortable um, and that will allow you to make the most money per customer. So that when we do put that dollar in for paid traffic, you have a way for the customer to give you a dollar back. So keep in mind that he or she who is able and willing to spend the most to acquire a customer will win. That's done so through really strategic marketing, really strategic pay, paid traffic plans, um, but also by having a good offer and a marketing funnel um, that's going to, to optimize and make sure that you do make the most money back for your advertising. So really, traffic is the act of putting your offer or your message, whatever your company stands for, what are you selling? You know, what are you offering these people? Um, it's the act of putting that in front of your target audience. Um, you know, you could build the, the coolest thing, you could have the coolest product, but if no one ever sees that product, it won't be a success. Or even if the wrong people see that product, it probably won't be a success. So keep that in mind. That is the function of traffic. The function of traffic is to put that offer, to put that message um, in front of the right people. So that's really what this course is about. And also turning those people into loyal customers, which is very, very important. 
At Digital Marketer, we always say, you know, it's time to turn on the water hose. It's time to turn on the traffic hose. Um, once you do have, have something of interest, um, even if it's a, a blog post or a video or a piece of content um, that you want people to see, um, we're going to turn on the traffic hose, right? We're going to, to put that offer in front of the right people. So you'll probably hear me use that term. That's what I mean. It's time to turn on the water hose. It's time to, to put this offer, offer or this message in front of the right people. We're going to talk a lot about traffic platforms um, in this course. And traffic platforms are places that you can buy traffic, right? Um, I also talk about going to the traffic store, right? Because not every business is going to buy traffic from the same platforms. And they're not going to buy traffic from the same platforms because they have different target markets and those people are going to be on different platforms. So don't think of this platform centric. I need to get really good at running Facebook ads or I really need to figure out YouTube. That's definitely not the way to think about this course and this certification. You need to think about this as how can I build a traffic system that no matter what the platform will be a success, will, you know, automatically always churn customers and leads and sales into my business. So that's really something to keep in mind when I talk about the traffic store or I talk about different platforms and I'll teach you which platform uh, works for which kind of business and, and which market. I'll, I'll teach you ways to figure out which platform you should be running traffic on. But as we move through these lessons, please keep in mind that um, you know this is not platform specific and that I really want you to look at everything from a bird's eye conceptual view. A myth that, that I really want to, you know, to, to debunk here, um, you aren't just running traffic to the top of the funnel, right? So again, we'll talk about marketing funnels a little bit, but if you're looking at the top of the funnel, maybe it's a sales page that's asking people for money. You're not always just driving traffic to that first entry point. Again, this is a system and we're going to teach you how to move people from hello, you know, nice to meet you. I don't know your business. I don't know who you are. We just met and move them down to, to becoming a buyer, maybe a repeat buyer, someone that gives you a lot of their time and a lot of their money. We're going to really teach this as a cycle and a system. So make sure you're not thinking about traffic just as a way to get people to the top here, just as a way to get people to a sales page. This really is a system and, and should be looked at, um, you know, full funnel as we'll say. Also, we're going to talk about using paid traffic to build relationships because that's really important and it's a great way to look at this. Um, as we do run traffic to people who have never heard of you before, it's important to keep in mind at what point in the relationship am I with this prospect or this person? You know, did we just meet or have we known each other a little bit or are we really close friends, right? Do we know each other really well? Um, so we call this traffic temperatures and we talk about cold, warm and hot traffic. And I'll cover a lot of this in the next lesson, but I just want to make sure that we're on the same page and that you're thinking about this the same way. And again, we're going to teach you how to take someone from cold, take them from hello, nice to meet you. You know, here's, here's my story. Uh, let me learn a little bit about you to hot, to really close relationship and um, a repeat buyer and someone who might even be a brand evangelist for your business. Another important, important point here, you're also building media. So media is anything that aggregates the attention of a definable market segment into a specific location at a predictable time. So that might sound a little bit confusing, but basically what it means is that you're building an audience. That's what every business needs. Do you have eyeballs on you? And are those the right people? Are your target market? Are, are they watching? Are they reading? Are they following you? Have you built this loyal tribe of people who are interested in what you're doing? 
And that's really where paid traffic and customer acquisition come into play because we're going to go out and find those people. And we're not only going to go out and find those people, but we're going to turn those people into people that love your business and love your brand.